Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Thursday, October 10th, 2024. We are looking at the daily time frame chart of the Solana. Solana is quoted to Tether on Zonda Crypto. And as you can see, just recently we got some interesting development made on the Solana market. The first thing I would like to point out straight on is that we are using the Japanese candlesticks, obviously. And what we are adding here to the chart is very, very simple. We are going to add the trend line so the trend line goes from the lows that were made apparently on the uh this is the august august 5th 2024 and they will uh, let's say go a little bit higher like this this is what i wanted to uh to do yes there you go and a little bit thicker and of course orange so we got our orange line which is the trend line we got uh, first bounce the second bounce the the uh, uh, third bounce uh, from the mm, from the trend line and now we retrace some some of the movement uh, to the upside let me just figure it out mm, how much it is so we are going to add the fibonacci uh retracement and uh, we go from the top to the uh to the bottom for you guys to see there you go and as you can see we retraced 61 percent right 61 percent of the um, of the last wave uh, to the uh, downside so um this is quite significant level and we got very very big down candle red candle with quite substantial upper week then we got movement to the downside red candle movement to the downside red candle and today um, we are just uh, starting uh, the uh, the trading uh, but the point is that we retraced 61 percent which is very typical uh movement uh, for the price now um what we are going to do is we are going to uh label this movement right so we got our wave a to the downside now counter trend local counter trade movement in wave b 61 percent wave b retrace of the previous wave and now what we are missing is the wave c the wave c can finish on the trend line for example and then the bulls can head head back um uh, reverse and, and hand back to the uh, towards the beginning of this uh, all uh situation like 162.15 right and then even higher and that would be a running flat correction abc running flat or abc will go even lower it will go even lower towards the level that is not really um, uh, present just yet we can do some kind of uh, uh, projections but first let's just mark the uh, supports okay let's just mark the support so the first one will be the low of the wave a 135 so because it's it's a support so uh, okay let's do it let's do it different um different lines so the just the just the race okay so low of the wave a is the 135 it's um it's a support so it's green low of this wave it doesn't matter which one is this is 128 and that's the next target uh, for the wave c and what else we can do here to anticipate the wave of the wave c is to use the fibonacci just mm, uh, just again so this is the wave a and this is the wave b measurement so as you can see 100 percent of the length of the wave a measured from the top of the wave b is located at the level of 126.21 and this is the projected level for the wave uh for the wave c all right so very very close to the technical support right because the technical support is 127 126 is the wave c very good zone for the reversal to the upside is that zone okay so please pay attention to the to this situation um because it might look like the um like the bears are heading even lower and lower and lower and then and they might do but if we will have a b c a correction to the downside simple zigzag correction right so we should most likely stop and reverse at one of these levels and then the market would be ready to move up of course they have to break back up the trend line again and then back up higher again um towards the 160 last thing high yeah this is the level this is the major technical resistance let me just point it out so somewhere here is the major technical resistance that that must be violated for the market to fly higher yeah to move higher there you go this is the zone they need to break above this zone in order to move to move higher so this is our scenario for now for the solana to tether at zonda crypto thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys next time take care and bye bye